Hi, my name is Mike Acosta with another hot tip on the MV8000. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of using your existing software production programs alongside the MV8000. Not only is the MV8000 great as a studio production piece, but it's also great for live performance. Let me show you how. For this instance, we'll be using Reason 2.5. As you can see towards the bottom here in the sequence section, I already have a laid out groove that I've sequenced using a couple of soft synths and drum samples. So let's take a listen to it really quick all together. So there's my sequence that I've made within Reason. Now, I want to be able to take this out on the road and be able to trigger all these phrases live from the MV8000. Very simply, we come up to the mixer section, solo out track one, so that we can get the drums discrete. So there's my drums. All we have to do is go into the export function and go to export loop as audio file. Once we select that, we can give it a name. We can call it Redrum1. We'll designate the desktop on where to send the file to once it's been exported. And click Save. We could choose the sample rate of 16441 and then click Export. Now we'll continue to do this for the rest of the tracks that we have within this sequence. Now that I've exported every single track individually out of Reason, all nine waveforms show up here on my desktop. Now that they're on my desktop, the next thing I need to do is connect the MV8000 to the laptop via USB and drag and drop the files in. It's as simple as that. Now that I've activated the USB function from the MV8000, it's mounted itself to my desktop. I simply open it up and select the folder where I want to send my samples to. So for this instance, we'll choose the Reason Loops folder that I've created. All we do is highlight all the exported AIF files from Reason and simply drag and drop them over into that folder and wait for it to finish copying. Once we've imported all of our samples into the MV8000, we simply hit the Import button and go to that folder that we dropped them into. Now here's all the samples that we imported from the laptop. What we can do is select the first one, which we know is Redrum 1, and select Import. Now the MV8000 will give you a wave display of that sample. It's so easy to assign the samples on here to the pads, all we do is hit Quick Assign, and since it's a drum loop, we're going to assign this to the audio phrase section of the MV8000 so that we can have further editing options such as the time stretching in real time. So we'll click Assign to an Audio Phrase. And we'll select the first pad. Click Execute. And that's it. Now once you have all your samples loaded into the pad banks, this is what it would look like. Now with all the samples loaded in, the MB8000 is ready for me to fire them off for any live performance use at any time. As you can see here on the first pad, we have the first drum kit or drum loop that we made within Reason. I have my bass sound here. I also have my Rhodes keys that I've made laid out. And I even have another drum loop. Now with all these samples live, I can actually trigger these and actually remix the sequence that I did in Reason all live on the MV8000. Let's take a listen.
also utilizing the effects of the MV, we can use live filters to tweak the sound even more. Now, besides having all the real-time effects available to us, we also have real-time time stretching. Very simple. All we have to do is tap on the BPM tap button and slow it down. And notice that all the samples lock to the new tempo that I've tapped in. Now, if we want to speed it up, then we could tap it a little bit faster. Now, this is a great feature of the MV8000 the portability along with the powerful sampling features all at your fingertips for live gigs, not to mention being worry-free of laptop crashes live on stage.